Hello, welcome to Cheese Kitchen. Chive is a very typical Chinese vegetable. It has special but very pleasant smell. Whenever I have it in my fridge, I like to make it into chive and pork bun. Add five grams of dry yeast to two cups of flour. You want water to flour ratio to be around 60%, so 150 ml water. Add the water into the flour, mix them up, and then start kneading them for three minutes. At the end, you'll get a rather smooth dough. Cover it up and let it ferment for an hour. Chop the chive into fine grains and load some ground pork to it. Add one teaspoon of salt, some soy sauce, sesame oil, never forget that, and oyster sauce, one teaspoon, some sugar, about one teaspoon as well. Of course, ground pepper, half teaspoon, and some dark soy sauce so the filling color will look nice. Mix the fillings. It can take up to five minutes to get it done. Only stop mixing when you see a consistent texture. Now the dough is double the size of its original size. Let's press gently to degas the dough. Reshape the dough and cut the dough into two halves. Keep one half covered so that it will not dry out. Cut this one half into six small pieces. Take one piece, round it up in your palms, and press it. Make the flag using your roller pin. It becomes a rather round shaped piece of dough. Do this way to make the edge thinner and load the fillings onto the piece of dough and start folding it. This is slow motion. You fold and press and the other hand is feeding some dough to your right hand and gradually you are closing this piece of dough up. At the end, you want to seal it up, squeeze it so the juice inside the bun will not come out. With hard work, you get 12 buns. It's time to fry them. Load the bun onto a nonstick pan. This pan is about 10 inches in diameter. Cook them for 5 minutes at medium heat. Now it's time to steam them. Add water to half bun depth. Cover them and cook for eight minutes at medium heat. Now the water is all dried up. So it's done. And let's see how I get the buns out. Since the buns are so close to each other, they are stuck to each other. So I'm going to cover it with a plate and flip the pan over. And I got 12 buns. Juicy and aromatic. Take one bite and imagine what it tastes like. Follow the instructions of this video and make your own chive and pork bun. It will be good. Thank you for visiting Cheese Kitchen. I'll see you again very soon. Bye.